Cowboys and welcome to a new tutorial. Yes, I did I ever make a tutorial? I don't know, but this is my first tutorial today. <clears throat> I'm gonna show you how to use a Windows tablet, just a normal Windows 32-bit tablet, and how to use it as a second screen. So as you can see here, we have a pretty nice software called Space Desk X10 or times 10, I don't know. And this is the software I'm talking about. You can use it for many devices, as you can see, for Mac, iPad, iPhone, Android. And I have a Windows tablet, so I'm gonna use it for my Windows tablet. So the first thing you do is to download, click here on download. The website is of course in the video description, spacedesk.ph if I forget it. And then you download whatever you have. 64-bit or 32-bit, you can see that when you go into your control panel. I could have made it easy, so much easier, but you go into control panel and then you see Oh, 64-bit operating system, nice. Or you just go into your hard drive and you see program files 86. And when you have an 86, then you have a 64-bit system. Then you download this. This should not take long because it is only 2.1 megabyte. Okay, got it. Then you run it, start it, install it. It's pretty easy, you just install it. You don't even have to do anything else. You just go on next, then you go, you don't have the screen, but you go on next, next, install, blah, blah, blah. I did this already, so I don't have to do it. The next thing is, they, it asks you to restart. Restart, because the first time I tried to do it and I didn't restart, and I had bugs and my tablet couldn't connect. The next thing is when you start your computer you should see this. You should see it not like in green because my tablet is connected right now but you should see a gray screen with an X in the middle. That means that you don't, you're not connected with any device. Okay, the next thing you do I will switch to my phone camera. I could do that right now. One second. So now we are in a, in a phone camera. You see the same screen as I have right now here. And here is this tablet I have. I got, let me show you. This is just this normal, oops, a normal, uh, 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 I don't even know, is it eight inch? I don't have space on my. Okay, this is the tablet. It's just a normal Asus, T100 tablet, as you can see, it has Windows 8 on uh, Windows 10 on it. Let me go to the control panel real quick. Here you can see 32 bit, 2 gigs of RAM, and an Intel at home CPU. So, the next thing you do, you will see it again on my screen because I'm still recording. You download secondary machine client. It's just this download, you put it on your tablet, download it, and then you should see when you start it, a screen like this. Just a normal black screen, gray screen, I don't know. Click on file, uh, if you want to change the settings, because some may not have the fastest Wi-Fi like I do. So I put it on low color and image quality on 30, it still looks pretty good. Then you go to file. Oh, okay. File, connect. And it should already show the device. If not, you can put it in yourself. You can see it on your other device when you go on the bottom right here and go to show display settings. Oops, no, that is the wrong one, not display settings. Uh, about desk space, a uh, space desk, and then you see on wireless connection your IP, put it in here, and then you press OK connect, and it should already go into full screen. I, since this tablet is like a, let me put it on my desk, it is bigger when I do it like this, so I went into my, oh wow, Audacity, into my display settings. Okay, I can turn this off. No, I cannot. And 
changed this. So now we got one uh, portrait and one in landscape. And yeah, I think that's it. If something not work, you can ask me, but maybe I don't know what the problem is, but it is pretty easy. You can do it with your phone too, as you saw, Android and everything is working. So yeah, until then, I hope you liked this video and I hope I see you next time. Bye.